Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 26th of November. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather pretty quiet today. Maybe a few showers for some of the southern counties. A chance of rain tomorrow, tomorrow night, then a big rain event Sunday. Then we turn cold. Very active pattern, so here we go. Upper air look this morning. The trough that brought rain and storms yesterday and last night on to the east. That was the radar this morning at 454. That front lined up from near Lafayette and Chambers County down to Mobile. You can see a band of showers and storms on the front moving on down to the south. And a pretty big contrast on either side of the front. Auburn at 66, Haleyville at 40, Memphis at 40, Mobile and Dothan at 70. But that front will keep on pushing to the south today. Where we are, we're expecting highs in the upper 60s. Here's the severe weather outlook today. We have a marginal risk over parts of southeastern Texas and Louisiana with a wave developing on the front tonight. And again, for Alabama, there could be a few showers for the southern counties, but most of the state will be dry on this Thanksgiving day. Tomorrow, a marginal risk on the front for parts of south Texas and Louisiana, southwestern Mississippi. And then on Saturday, no severe weather expected, although there could be a few showers and storms on the stall boundary near the Gulf Coast. This is the rain for the next seven days. The bigger numbers from Houston back over toward New Orleans for Alabama amounts one to two inches for the north, two to three inches for the south between now and Thursday morning of next week. And in the tropics, I got that little spinner in the middle of the Atlantic that is not a tropical system. Hurricane Center circling that and the little system way off in the east Atlantic. Those are junk systems, and if they get a name, they would probably never have been named 20 or 30 years ago. The Gulf quiet, and again, the hurricane season wraps up in four days, and we expect no issues for the United States. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06 e run at 4 o'clock today. You can see a new trough back in the southwestern states. And for us, uh, the northern half of the state, dry. Probably see a pretty decent uh, amount of sunshine today with highs in the upper 60s. And again, maybe a few showers for South Alabama with the front stalling out down there. Now, tomorrow, a wave forms on the front. Clouds will increase. A decent chunk of the day will be dry. And then tomorrow night, you can see rain on the front, maybe as far north as the Tennessee Valley. The most widespread rain probably over South Alabama. But for the high school playoff games tomorrow night, take the rain gear. Then Saturday, the front gets a nudge back southward again, and all of Alabama dry. Should be a beautiful day. Uh, the sky's sunny, the high in the middle 50s. A great day for the Iron Bowl in Tuscaloosa. And then Sunday, another wave on the front. That's going to spin up a surface low. The GFS has that thing just uh, west of Mobile Sunday afternoon. Rain becoming widespread by Sunday afternoon. This is Sunday night at midnight. The surface low is near Anniston. This is the European, a little farther north. It's got it uh, north of Athens up in southern Tennessee. And the position of the surface low is important because that will determine if we have any strong to severe storms. It certainly looks like if we do have an issue with a strong storm Sunday night, it would be over the southern half of the state. But all of Alabama gets a big soaking. And then Monday, that low really starts to bomb out over Pennsylvania. Cold air floods into the state. Uh, we think Monday will be a day with falling temperatures. We should wind up in the 30s Monday afternoon. An icy north wind. There might be a few flurries especially up near the Tennessee Valley, this Tennessee state line. No impact from that, no accumulation. The big story, it's the cold. This is Tuesday. By Tuesday morning, we're well below freezing. Uh, we might even see some upper teens in the colder pockets. That's pretty cold for the first day of December. Uh, Tuesday will be sunny with a high in the 40s. This is Wednesday. The GFS depicting a little wave coming through with a chance of rain on Wednesday with a high... 45 to 50, that's a cold rain, probably not much because of limited moisture. Then a week from today, Thursday the 3rd, that wave is on by, and we get another shot of colder air. So next week, temperature should be way below average. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 5th. Got a big upper high over Montana, trough on the East Coast, and again, we're dry and cool. 
Snow for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Now, the European Ensemble's got 50 members, about a dozen show potential for a few snowflakes. That would probably be early next week. And again, if we see that, uh, no impact, no accumulation. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 2 and 3 inches over the next 15 days. And you can see the big drop-off next week. That high Monday of 48 probably coming during the early morning hours. Going to think we drop in the 30s Monday afternoon. We go way down in the 20s Tuesday and Wednesday morning. And again, after that, temperatures stay well below average. And the CPC outlook, December 3rd through the 9th, showing temperatures below average down here across Alabama in the Deep South. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. We are on a holiday schedule, so one video per day through the weekend. I'll post some fresh forecast notes this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News. I'll be there at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Again, happy Thanksgiving and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.